The first full day of the NAACP National Conference in Orlando. Attorney General Eric Holder and the NAACP President and CEO expected to speak today. WTXL ABC 27's own Rockman Johnson is at the event and joins us now live. And Rockman, what's on the agenda for today? Well, the main thing, uh, they've just finished the resolutions part of the conference, which is why everyone is here. But the main thing uh, they're talking about is how to make some changes so they can see what legislative agenda items that the NAACP will go after. And uh, joining me is one of the vice presidents of uh, one of the chapters in New York. Tom, how are you? Fine, thank you. Thank you for joining us today. And my question, what was it that, uh, what was the main thing that came out of the resolutions meeting? Well, the, uh, the, the general direction of the organization and the, the bylaws just in this case, in this year's case, very few bylaws were actually changed, but there's mostly the di directions of the things we want to pursue, the goals, the ways we want to impact American society. And then one of the things I'm hearing as I talk to the uh, convention attendees, of course, is the verdict of the George Zimmerman trial. Yes. And uh, Ben Jealous made a statement about that. Is there anything that the body as a whole is going to do in response to that besides go ask the Justice Department for help? Absolutely. That uh, we're going to uh, increase our efforts to impact our local areas, the local communities, uh, by attending uh, congressional here, uh, congressional when the, the congressman comes home from Washington D.C. and comes has his uh, those meetings. Yes. We're going to be there. We're going to be talking to them and explaining to them what, what we hope to see in the future. Okay. That uh, young black males are at risk. For why? For what? And we all know the answer, but racism. Nevertheless, uh, we've got that. We're going to have a march on Washington in August. And I heard them say many of those things, they're starting now to make those decisions as to what's going to be for the rest of the year. That's right. Yeah. Well, Tom, thanks so much for joining us. Anytime. And the, Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. And the key, one of the things uh, that people are looking at today, Kathleen Sebelius, the head of Health and Human Services, as well as Eric Holder, will be speaking in uh, ceremonies this afternoon. We'll be sure to be there to bring you continuing coverage. I'm Rockman Johnson, live from the 104th NW ACP convention for WTXL ABC 27 dedicated to you. Abby. Thanks, Rockman, for that report for us. And again, we'll have more tonight on the news at 5 o'clock and always online at WTXL.TV and Bounce News TV as well. Thanks, Rockman.